let's see if your magic powers can sort that deck out. So we had one really messed up deck and now all of those cards have gone back to normal except for one card, the Six of Hearts. Was that your card? Yeah. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and today we are going to be showing you another fantastic, very easy, simple to perform trick that you can do with any deck of cards. It's probably the first trick that I do when people ask me to do a couple of tricks. It always gets amazing reactions. We are also, in this video, going to be announcing the winner of our deck giveaway, where one lucky winner will win these, a deck of the Theory 11 Monarchs. The winner will be announced at the end of this video, so don't go away, don't miss it. First and foremost, we'll show you the trick, we'll show you how it's done, let's get into it. Okay, who will I be performing the trick on this week? On your marks, get set, go! I think Cooper snatched it. Did you think you won that? I think you won that. Right then, Cooper, ready for some magic? Yeah. Good, let's start with a bit of a shuffle, okay? A bit like this. Okay. Uh, that's my shuffle. Your shuffle? Where do you think you learnt it? Yeah, you. <laughs> right then, Cooper. Pick any card you like. Okay, don't let me see it. Make sure the guys at home can see it. Show your sister. Okay, you happy with it? Yeah. Done that? Okay, then put that, let me see. Put that card on top. Okay, so as you can see, that card is right there. Okay, it's on the top. Yeah. Right? So watch it carefully. So it's there, it's on the top. We're gonna put that into this deck. We're gonna put all of that into here, okay? And if you're still not convinced, we'll give it a proper shuffle like this. <laughs> and then we'll give it an old school shuffle as well, okay? Right, and just to make it double hard for me, we're gonna give it what we call a sloppy shuffle. So we're gonna take some cards like this, turn them the wrong way around, turn these the wrong way around, really mixing up the deck, making it really messy, yeah? You see that? So it's all getting mixed up like that, okay? So now what we have is one really messed up deck of cards. We've got some that are face to back. We've got some that are back to face. We've also got some that are, yeah, back to back. So now your magic powers are gonna try and fix all of that. Yeah, you know what to do. Put your hands on top, push down really hard, and let's see if your magic powers can sort that deck out. Should we have a look? So we had one really messed up deck and now all of those cards have gone back to normal except for one card the six of hearts was that your card yeah wow how did you do that well i will show you how we do that <laughs> right now do you guys want to have a go as well yeah yeah okay grab some cards then as per normal we'll speed this bit up Good, about time. First, get your cards out. Okie dokie, let's get rid of that box. So, Cooper, because you've got quite small hands, should we get rid of half the deck? Good stuff. Right, let's get them over here. So, what's your top card you've got there? We'll all use the same one, Eight of Spades. So, Kyla, find your Eight of Spades. That will be the card that our spectator has chosen. Eight of spades. Okay. Now, you got it? Well, whilst you're doing that, we'll show you how Cooper, with his smaller hands, because he may struggle with some of the slight hand in this trick, what we're going to do, Cooper, is you're going to have the cards in here, in your left hand, and we're going to take off about half the deck and put it on the table. Yeah? About half the deck, put it on the table. Then you're going to get the spectator's card into the middle. That's it. And we're gonna put the rest of that deck on top, but you're gonna hold a bit of a gap like this. A break. A break, yeah. Okay, so we've got what Cooper's got now. He's got his deck from the front, looks absolutely fine, but he's got a bit of a break at the back. 
Then what you can do, Cooper, you can say, we'll give the cards a little cut. And we're gonna take off half of that top deck, put it on the table. That's it. And then we'll take the rest of those cards from the top, put it on the table. Then all of them go on the top. So now what you've done is you've got the, cut, the spectators, eight of spades on the top, yeah? Have a check. There it is, eight of spades, okay? But me and Kyla, so you can leave yours there for a minute. Me and Kyla are gonna do the way I did it in the trip. So leave those there. So we've got our eight of spades, that's what our spectator, we've shuffled the cards to begin with. The spectator has chosen a card. And then Kyla, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick off one card from the bottom, okay? One card, and you're just gonna pull it down like that to start off with, yeah? Yeah. Then you're gonna put your thumb on the back and hold it there like that. Like that? Yeah, get a bigger gap if you can. The bigger the gap, the better. So the further you can pull that card down, the bigger gap you can have. That's great. Then what we're gonna do, remember how to do a swing cut? Yeah. So you're gonna swing cut half that deck off, okay? And you're gonna angle that slightly away from the spectators so they can't see this secret card at the back there. And we're gonna say, okay, put your card onto the top, mm. okay, like this. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna push that forward with our other hand. As we do that, we're gonna steal off that secret card that we had picked off the bottom of this deck. Exactly. Like that, perfect. But to the spectator, it looks like their card is on top, okay? But it's not. On the back, we've got that secret card, okay? And you'll see why that's important in a second. With the other deck, we say, right, we'll push that into the deck on top but it's not, the secret card is actually here on top of it. So that goes in. Then you're gonna spread out the other half of your hands. You okay? Yeah. Spread it out, and then we're gonna tuck in their fake card into here, okay? But we're gonna angle it away from them so they can't see that's not their card. Their card's here, but they don't know that. Okay, put it in there? Yeah. Then you're gonna riffle down the other half of that deck and then slide all of these cards into there. It's hard with one hand. It is hard with one hand, one hand if you're not used to it. But you get better with practice. So now we've lost that card into the deck. You all right? So Cooper, yeah. we are now where you are. We've got our card on the top, just like you have, okay? So pick these cards up. That's it, keep them all on the bottom. And me and Kyla are gonna do a riffle shuffle first, okay? But this is a special riffle shuffle where we don't, because normally when you've done a riffle shuffle, the cards are a bit bent and you would normally want to sort of straighten them up a bit, but we're not going to in this riffle shuffle. We want them to stay a bit bent and you'll see why. So do a riffle shuffle, making sure we keep their card on top, really bend it, okay? And then don't straighten it, okay? Don't straighten it, keep it bent, okay? And you'll see why. Their card is still on top, yes? Mm -hmm. Check. It's still on top. That's the one that's straight in it. So now, Cooper, you can do this as well. Hold it in your hand like this. This hand here, on the other hand. That's it. And they're gonna give it an old school shuffle. So look at me, hold it like this. You're gonna just take off one card and keep it in this hand. On your fingers like that, that's it. And then, you're just gonna throw other cards on top of it. That's it, well done, okay? So now what we've done is we've got their card to the bottom, yeah? Yeah. Their card on the bottom, well done. And now, the tricky bit, so hold it in this hand this time, okay, like this. And you're gonna just take off about five or six cards in one hand, Show the camera what you're doing. You're gonna turn them over in this hand and take off some more, like this. And then, as you've got them, you turn them over. You getting all right? Keep doing that until we get all the way through the deck, okay? And then leave the bottom one. So take the bottom one in the other hand still. You wanna keep the bottom one in your left hand. Mm. 
Okay. And that one, so just the bottom one, just the bottom one yeah. goes on the top. Okay. Okay. Then what you have now, there's a significant difference in that deck. You've got it, you've got it, see? And this is why that bend was important because what that allows you to do, so Cooper, hold them like this. You take off above the bend and that will always be back to face. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you put it down. What, same way as it Yeah, put it, no, put, it, put it back down. Okay, okay, put it back down. Face to back you had there. And then, if you just push down slightly and pull up, you'll find the middle card. No, try it again. Oh. Because that bend is right there. No, you can see, put it down. You can see the bend's there. Yeah. So pick it off at that point. Oh, okay. So now you've got back to back. That's it. Now you are going to turn these all the way over and put them back. That's the important bit. Now the trick's done. But to, to give them more of an effect, we'll pick off the bottom part of the deck now, which will always be face to back. Okay? Gives them the illusion that the deck is all messed up. Okay, then put them back down. Then you're going to put that on the table. And then we can say, this is where your powers are going to help fix this messy deck. It's already done. They put their hands on, they push down, they feel the magic going through them. And then we can reveal that all of those cards are now back to normal, except for one card. You try it as well and see if yours worked as well. Wow, there you go. What's that? All of the cards are back to normal, except for the spectator's chosen card. And there we go, there we have it. It's that simple, it's such an amazing effect. And it's like I said at the beginning, one of the first tricks I will probably do if, if people ask me to do a couple of tricks, always gets great reactions. Taking the mickey out of me again. So it's Saturday um, when we're filming this. Our deck giveaway doesn't finish until midnight tomorrow. Um, so we'll cut to us selecting the lucky winner right now. Right then, onto the drawer itself. Now we have had almost 100 entries into this competition, so thanks to everyone that's entered. Thanks to everyone that liked our video, left us a comment, and has subscribed to our channel. Um, your support's very much appreciated by us. We never even thought we'd get 10 subscribers, so to get over 100 is, a, is fantastic. So thanks to everyone. Um, so let me just double check. We are, yeah, just under 194 entries. Um, so we will do more of these, so don't be disappointed if you don't win. Um, as I said, they, they seem to be quite popular, so we will do more. Kyla, yeah. if you'd like to put in there 94, and Cooper is going to select our lucky winner. So good luck everyone, fingers crossed, Cooper, press that button and pick our lucky winner. 83, right, who is 83, 83, 83, is Joan Luangsteinen, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, or, or somewhere close. Uh, Joan or June Luonsteinen. Congratulations. Um, we will leave a link in the description below to our Facebook page, to our Instagram. Send us a direct message with your contact details. We'll get that deck of Theory 11 Monarch sent out to you. Congratulations. Um, and as I said, don't be disappointed if you haven't won. We will do more of these. Congratulations to Joan, June. Uh, I really hope I'm getting somewhere close with that pronunciation. Maybe. Could be Johnny. Be joining. I think it's Joan or June. Um, congratulations, we'll get those sent out to you as soon as we, we get your details. So, we like I said, thanks to everyone that's watched, thanks to everyone who's entered. We will do more of these. Don't be disappointed if you haven't won, we will do more. So, as always, like, like and subscribe. You've got it right, you forgot this time. Let's try it again. And as always, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you.